What's up everybody, this is Aircrete Harry, and in today's video we're going to be talking about this 30 foot dome we're building here. You can see it there, it was inflated and then deflated. This is the blower, it's a bouncy house blower and it's all you need surprisingly it looks like something so small but it does the job it gives you all the air pressure you need to keep the air form inflated now we have the basalt rebar and that's the only material we're using and i'll give you a close-up of that in a little bit to the point where i can even stand on it it holds the weight of the rebar up and the concrete it's incredible so once the air forms inflated it's when we can cut the 4x8 sheets of plywood to the shape of the air form so everything fits nice and snug so you can see the door frames have the curvature to the air form and all that is done once the air form is inflated we trace the air form shape onto that wood you can even see how the ladder is being pushed up by the air pressure that's how powerful it is the windows have been cut out the door frames are in place those are the wooden frames in the previous video we built this 32 foot diameter slab to put a 30 foot diameter air form on there leaving us a foot of material to put our insulation on top of what we did was inflate this air form and then we put a 4 by 8 sheet right next to the air form and trace the shape of the air form onto the plywood so that we can cut it and get this shape to match up and fit against the dome just perfectly. And there's a couple of shots of the ladder. And while the 30 foot dome air form is inflating, we want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor. Evmio and Molnia. Visit Amazon.com for quality travel duffel bags, backpacks, and laptop bags. Experience great customer service and well-made products. Whether you travel far, pack an overnight bag, need a gym bag, or looking for a roomy yet light diaper bag, they got you covered. Great variety of bags for your convenience and comfortable travel. See additional links for full video showcasing our personal experience, details, and views. Both Mrs. Aircrate and I are very happy with our very own travel bags and highly recommend the quality to our valued audience. Enjoy! Shop Amazon.com, links in the description box below. And now, back to the video. Peace. So here we are inside a 30 foot diameter dome. This is the air form to build the dome. We just put this bar in the middle here. And this is so that we can mount a ladder on the outside, a scaffolding ladder that's going to go around the air form that we can rotate around the entire dome air form for spraying. Because we have limited room here, so we can't fit the bucket truck in here while the cement truck's here. So came up with this scaffolding ladder system that you'll see a little bit later. If I'm against the air form, I'm going to take steps. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve steps to the opposite side. This is a big air form, 30 footer. I also have a 32 footer and a custom 24 feet wide, 64 feet long air form. So we mount it 
using this angle iron. There's angle iron brackets holding the air form down all the way around. And then where there's air leaking, we put sand on it to stop the air from leaking out from underneath. We got a couple other spots. There's another spot here. You can see the light coming through. Gotta put sand there as well. So we'll just put that sand in. And that's to stop the air leaking from the bottom. And that's all the way around. See, there's another spot air was coming out of. So we just put sand in all the areas where the air is leaking out. So now we got another plate that goes on the top side. And these are the bolt holes. So we'll put bolts through there. So that plate on top is tight. And that plate on top will have a, uh, another pipe going up that's gonna be our that pipe. Each one of these triangular shapes is a gore. We call it a gore pattern. So this 30 foot dome has, we'll start with these boxes. So that's one, two, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 of these gores. And the base is about, let's see if I can, one, two, three, four, five. It's approximately a little less than five feet wide at the base and then it tapers. So I originally had this idea of a ladder that goes from one end of the air form up and over to the other side so that two people could be spraying at the same time. My buddy ended up building a ladder that goes mounted to the pole at the center of the dome. So it's very interesting, you have to have a pole but it works out really good. It's a great pivot point and it's a solid mount. It feels very secure, especially once the air forms inflated. Here you can see the angle iron being welded into 45 degree angles. And we ended up using four of these scaffolding sides to create this. And then you can see at the base, we have the wheels and it allows it to go round and round. Visit AircreteHarry.com for your foam generator, mixing recipes, and other great products. Thanks for watching. This is Aircrete Harry. Peace out. I love you all, and I'll catch you later.